Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and today I'm going to show you how to take a picture from day to night in Photoshop. So open up your picture and go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation. This first step, we're just going to focus on desaturating the picture a little bit. So turn the saturation slider down to about negative 50. This makes it so you don't see some of those bright oranges or bright colors that you wouldn't see at night. Now for the most important step, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Photo Filter, and hit OK there. Now when you first do it, it's going to just make your picture look warmer. That's because the, that's the default setting of a photo filter. You have all these presets here, like cooling filters and blue underwater. It's a really cool tool in Photoshop that you should get to learn. And the density lets you choose how strong you want the effect to be. But as you can see, no matter how much we turn it up, it still looks like daytime. That's because preserve luminosity is on. Pretty much when you uncheck that, it allows the photo filter to replace the whites in your image and take over the image more strongly. So this blue is looking a little too blue. So you can click the color and go ahead and make it a custom color. And I'm going to set it to a darker nighttime blue. Once you have that, set it to around 90 to 100 percent density and lower the opacity of the layer to about 80, 70, 90 depending on your original picture it's going to be different I used about 90 here now it is looking like nighttime but it looks kind of fake right now so go to new adjustment layer gradient map I'm just going to name it that because I'm trying to be organized here and Pick the black to white or white to black gradient map. If you don't have it, click reset gradients and choose it. And if it's reversed like this, hit the reverse button right there. Now set the layer blending mode on multiply. I have a tutorial on layer masks. If you didn't see it, go check it out. We're going to use the layer mask of this adjustment layer to make only the top portion of it show up and select the black and white gradient. That's usually the third one, but it's also the first one for me because that's the foreground to background gradient and my foreground and background colors happen to be black and white. And make a straight line from the top of your sky to the bottom of your sky. But you want to stretch it out far so it blends better. Hold shift if you want to make a straight line. And I'm just going to play around until I get something that I like. Okay, that looks about good. It makes the sky look more realistically dark. So for our next step, we're going to add some stars to the sky. So go to Layer, New Layer, or Shift-Command-N, and head over to your Brushes palette. So pick your brush, and head over to the Brushes palette. That should be right there if you're using CS5. If you're not using CS5, it might be around here. Just go to Window and select the Brush Palette and it should pop up. Under Brush Tip Shape Menu, make sure your size is at 4 pixels, your hardness is at 100, and turn your spacing all the way up. Also, go to Shape Dynamics and turn the size jitter all the way up to 100%. Go to Scattering, also turn that up to 1000% and leave everything else alone. Again, turn the size down to about 3 or 4 pixels. Now you don't want to just click and drag because that makes way too many stars. What you want to do is just make sure your opacity is all the way up and just dot just one click so just dot up your whole night sky with stars I'm just gonna fast forward it and once you get to the bottom closer to the horizon lower your brush size to about two and finish it up down to the horizon so we create an illusion of depth and lower the overall opacity of the stars to about 70 percent you can even go as low as 60 if it's looking fake and to finish up, we're going to create a layer mask on the stars just like we did to the gradient map. 
So go to layer, layer mask, hide all. Now you see the layer mask right there, everything's black. So go to your gradient tool and make the white stripe just like you did on your gradient map so that it fades it down when it gets closer to the horizon. And here's the final effect before and after. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll talk to you soon.